Good evening. Tonight, uh, I'm doing the fish tacos that I've been talking about so much. Most of the stuff's already cut up on the only other thing we're going to have to go with it is uh, chips and guacamole. I'm not going to put a whole lot of effort into explaining why my guacamole is the way it is, because I like it that way. Uh, watch how I put it together and the stuff I put in it. If you think of anything else, text it to me. I'll try it myself. But this is pretty good the way I put it together. It's fast. You know, sometimes people show up, you need something that you can just put together to get them out of your kitchen, to get them somewhere hovering, hovering around a bowl of green stuff with chips. It doesn't take long. It's worth a try. I do dry salami and my own sausage and stuff like that. Do my own uh, Super set a couple other things that I can put together pretty quick on a meat and cheese tray with a bowl of honey, and that'll get people out of your kitchen. I'm gonna mash them, so I'm not gonna go through a bunch of trouble. Trying to get them out, slice them, chunk them. I see ladies that have cut them in the shell. They'll cut little bit of cubes out of them in the shell, which is really cool. This works just as good. See that? Potato masher. Mash it out. Don't mash it in pieces. You ain't got to mash it up. Don't mash it. Grocery store guacamole seasoning package. One of these will do for two normal size avocados. I had five little bitty puny avocados. So it all be full, the recipe all be full. One time, like a big bowl of it, like a big salad bowl, mixing bowl. This is one seeded uh, Japanese pepper, chopped. Anyway, back to my story. Me like. Big salad bowl. Probably a gallon or more, right? And uh, so all I had is just a one big bowl to make it in. So I made all of it, and then I didn't, I didn't, I couldn't transport it to where it was going in the big salad bowl. But I had two work bowls. Two of them, big enough to put all of it in. This is uh, tomatoes and green chilies, chopped tomatoes and green chilies, diced. I'm um, square one. I don't want the juice. Oh, what's that? Oh, I made all this stuff, I made one bowl. But I had two Tupperware bowls to transport it. So on the top of one Tupperware bowl, I wrote mild. On top of the other Tupperware bowl, I wrote hot. 
took it to this party, set both of them out. People ate the mild one and complained about the hot one. And they came out and said, what no difference? What no difference? So it doesn't really matter if you get the, one of these packages of what money mix was uh, mild and the other one was spicy. This is a half a red onion chopped. The only other thing is a lemon juice, a lime juice right at the end. Put the lime juice right at the end because you can't never, there's a lot of variables you can't control. The fruit and the tomatoes more than anything else. I'm going to have my official taste tester try this, check it for salt and lemon juice or lime juice. And that's it for me. This is what it looks like. It'll keep people away from your kitchen. It'll keep them out. You could set this on the dining room table and they'll all move right out and get off on you. Uh, I'll be back in a little while. And we're gonna do the fish tacos. Stay here, so hope y'all enjoy. This is the slaw for the fish tacos, the Baja fish tacos. And I, I don't have any kind of really elaborate fish. I had catfish. I got catfish. I'm gonna cut it into strips. It's it's very good. This is one head of cabbage. Catfish is firm, and there's plenty of it. You don't have to go to the fish market and pay ten dollars a pound for. Them. whatever fish uh, Emma Lagasse cooked today. Two bunches of cilantro. I'm not going to go through a whole lot of trouble yet. to shred the cake. size red onion. So this is sea salt. Tablespoon. Black pepper. Coarse brown black pepper. A big teaspoon. And I love to, I kind of Frankenstein the, the fish, the fried fish part of this recipe. And uh, man, it's very good. It's where y'all try it. I'm not, uh, not exaggerating. It's very worth the trouble. I started thinking, man, I don't like, you know, they said, when I was a child, everybody said that my mama made the best coleslaw you ever had. You can't prove it by me because I won't eat raw cabbage. Or I didn't until I found this. Okay, I kind of stirred that up. If I pour it in there, nobody's going to believe me. Give it just a second. How's that marked? I 
table spinner. I've got that. Anyway. What is it? That's what a spinner. Side back. Two tablespoons of side back. I'm going to put a little bit of oil in here. You put whatever kind of oil you want. Any kind of oil that's light enough to use in a salad, like for a salad dressing. Uh, I'm going to use olive oil. Anyway, what I was saying was... Uh, you can do to make this better I mean it's just a, it's a, there's so many textures in this and it, this this right here the, the the raw cabbage the crisp raw cabbage uh, really adds to the, the texture of it. fish tacos Catfish tacos. I need to start saying catfish tacos. That's it for the slaw. We'll cover it and put it in the fridge. And I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to make the batter for the fish tacos now. Catfish tacos.